Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, and yeah, like the title probably says something similar to, I just bought a 410 shotgun. I have never owned one before, but I was picking up some guns the other day from Gun Prime, and my boy said, hey daddy, um, I like that shotgun. So I said, yeah, me too. And then I bought it. Um, 410. Let me zoom you in close. This is an American Tactical uh, 410. What is it called? The Nomad, I guess. But real simple, right? It's a brake action style. You pull the trigger guard, it breaks open. You pull the hammer back, you pull the trigger, and it flings uh, whatever you got loaded down in that 410 shell. Uh, but the whole purpose of this video, we're just going to have some fun testing this out, seeing what it can do. Um, before you get to going crazy on me in the comments on where I found the ammo, uh, I bought these 410 shells over a year ago. What is this? Uh, Federal Top Gun 410. Um, I don't even know. But I got 410. This is some kind of sporting. Oh, here it is. Two and a half inch, half ounce, seven and a half shot. I'll put that there and here you guys can see what I'm flinging out here. But yeah, a year ago, Walmart had like hundreds of these on the shelf because nobody bought it because 410 is more expensive than 12 gauge. Uh, but yeah, all you jokers bought all of it up and it's all gone. And I probably won't be able to find another box of this stuff for like 15 years. But I got two like half boxes. We're going to have some fun. Um, just function testing that shotgun and seeing what we can do with it. But I'm actually gonna, uh, see if I can shoot a clay out of the sky. And then I want to walk back to 20 yards and just kind of see the spread of this at 20 yards. And then I've got an old rotten watermelon. We're going to blow up and see if we can get some fun footage. So fun video testing out my new 410 shotgun. Like I said, big shout out to Gun Prime. That's where I picked this sucker up. But first of all, let me load one up, see if I can break a clay out of the sky. I don't know, maybe I can do it. The, uh, the sights for this is just a little groove in the top. Then we got a little classic brass bead down at the end of the barrel. So we'll see what I can do with it. All right, now I have no idea how this is gonna work out here, me flinging them myself, but no safety on this baby? Nope, no safety on this baby. That's always a tragedy when you fling up a clay and then you got the safety on. So I'm going to go ahead and load one of those Federals in there. Cock the hammer back. These have This thing has a pretty heavy trigger. I'll show you here in a minute. But let me see if I can sling one of these up somewhere towards those cedars and shoot this baby out of the sky. Maybe I'll make it a little darker up there. You'll be able to see it. Fling them towards the towards those tree branches somewhere. Hopefully, break this. Oh, I think I shot over it. Let me try again. There went like a couple of dollars right there in one shot. <clears throat> terrible, terrible shot on that first attempt. I was in a hurry. But let's try it again. If I miss this one, we're going to go on to the next challenge. I don't know if you guys saw that one, but I kabletterized it. I don't think this thing has an ejector. Given the price, I don't expect it to. New. No. Yeah, does it? Yeah. Let me show you up close. That little mechanism. It doesn't eject it, but it does kind of pull it out. See that little piece comes out? So no ejector, but for the price, these are super cheap. See how that little piece comes out and kind of pulls the shell with it. But for the price, hey man, this thing is cool. Like, if 410 ammo was plentiful, I would absolutely probably say, go get you one. It's a whole lot of fun. But next, I got a paper plate here. Show you my paper plate. Yeah, we need to clean up the range, don't we? I know. Anyways, I'm going to go 20 paces away from that paper plate 
and I want to see the spread out of this thing. So if we go after some squirrels out in the woods, do we need to be like three feet from them with this? Or could we take a crack at them at 20 yards? I don't know. We're about to find out. Let me go get the other camera here. All right, now here goes that 410 at about 20 paces. Let's see what it does and how it spreads out for that paper plate here. Wow, I think I jerked that terribly with that heavy trigger. Oh, wow. No, I didn't. It just spread out so far. It looked like I didn't hit it from back at 20 yards. Let's go check it out. All right, so at 20 yards, here's what that 410 does. So holding in the plate, you know, that would probably get you a squirrel at 20 yards, but you can see how big the spread is. We got BBs up here. We got BBs way down here. So 18 inches below the plate and two feet above. So from about there till about there, pretty big spread. But if your squirrel was on that plate, you probably would have got him. Now that we know the spread, I've got a watermelon that's rotten from last week's videos that I didn't get the chance to shoot. Let's stand it like 10 yards and see what a 410 does to a watermelon just because it's going to be fun. Check it out. All right, I'm going to go a little bit closer. Where's the watermelon? Right there. We've got another camera on it. See what happens to the watermelon at 10 yards or so. You guys see me? Kind of unimpressed. It looked like we just knocked the thing off that pillar and it fell down backwards. But let's go see what happens. Normally with watermelons, we're used to like thing going completely into splody bits and disappearing. But let's see what happened. That's about what happened to it. It's still one big old piece of watermelon. Hmm. Not real impressed. Not real impressed. Anyways, now we know. That's what happens when you hit a watermelon with a, a 410. Not a whole lot. Would it take a squirrel at 20 yards? It'd probably be good, but not a watermelon sized squirrel. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching. That was a fun one, getting out the 410, testing it out and seeing what we could do with it. But as always, appreciate you guys watching. Here goes a guy on his uh, loud pipe bike. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo!